Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to Sneaker Stories. As always, I'm your host, Chris Jack. Today, checking out an exclusive early look at the upcoming Adidas X Allbirds collaboration on the Futurecraft footprint. Without further ado, let's check them out. All right, so for the last around seven years, Adidas has really been at the forefront of innovation and technologies with regards to sustainable manufacturing processes through their product lines. We've seen some absolutely incredible projects, including one of my personal favorites, which many of you guys who watch Sneaker Stories will know, has to be the collaboration with Pali, of which I've got the 150 Pali Ultra Boost over here, which completely, in my opinion, changed the game. It really drew a line in the sand when these were taken to the UN as a statement to the rest of the world that we need to do better in terms of our manufacturing process and the impact on the environment that shoe manufacturing has. Because in a nutshell, these things do end up in the environment or damaging the environment in some way or another. Our consumption is absolutely crazy. Uh, and it's really up to the brands to create better processes, better practices, better distribution channels to really minimize the impact uh, of carbon emissions and other sort of impacts to the environment that the manufacturing processes and materials etc all contribute to. Now spinning off from the Pali line we've seen a whole bunch of different inventions and material upgrades such as Prime Blue and Prime Green uh, which are really cool innovations which include recycled ocean plastic and you know sort of other like natural materials incorporated into the material process or manufacturing at least of some of the footwear and not even footwear also clothing and stuff that they produce as well so every one of these steps that Adidas does is just a step in the right direction they might not be absolutely perfect nobody is right now in terms of sustainability but further to the Pali initiative Adidas has also gone to extreme lengths to create other kind of practices such as future craft loop a project we haven't seen locally here in South Africa just yet however it has seen various iterations in Europe and the States where the entire shoe is made to be remade so completely recyclable components where you can grind up the whole shoe into one single element and recreate the shoes endlessly from there so a whole bunch of really exciting stuff that's happening but I've never to date ever seen competing brands actually come together with one common goal uh, and that is in this particular instance to create the lowest carbon footprint shoe that exists on the planet today and this is obviously the Futurecraft footprint. It's a collaboration between New Zealand based company Allbirds and of course Adidas. And this particular shoe is just something so exciting to me because it really combines the best of both worlds that Allbirds brings to the table and Adidas of course. Now I wanna talk just a little bit about Allbirds itself. I first heard about Allbirds I think around five years ago. Uh, my brother-in-law in fact who's a New Zealander had told me about their uh, wool runner shoes and how they were all sort of the hype in New Zealand and quite difficult to get at that time. But having kind of checked it out and around that time, you know, it was mainly just doing uh, like the mainstream brands and the limited edition, more hype stuff. And, you know, it wasn't really a silhouette that captivated me in all honesty. Like I wasn't really gonna take myself seriously with putting a pair of those things on. Uh, and it's nothing against like all birds, all the silhouettes that they were doing. They've come a hell of a long way. They've got a whole bunch of different silhouettes. Um, but it just wasn't something that like, I think really hit with the sneakerheads back then and maybe even still so to today. But I was actually in New York last week and I saw all birds literally everywhere. Like everybody was rocking all birds and it really kind of like made me rethink about the brand uh, and you know, maybe even look at getting a pair myself. But lo and behold, I got back to South Africa and Adidas had sent me these uh, to check out early here before they release later this week. Uh, so I kind of solved all the problems with that. So shout out Adidas for sending uh, these particular ones through. Now I'm gonna take you through the shoe from top to bottom to really explain how this whole thing came about and you know what they have included within the shoe which makes it so incredible and obviously the lowest carbon footprint shoe on the planet to date. Now while all boots are known for their sustainability and materials manufacturing processes and having a low carbon footprint as it is they actually even stamp the carbon footprint underneath the insole of every single shoe that they've created as far as i'm aware uh, which is quite a cool little thing to do but you know like when you have a powerhouse brand like adidas who equally are doing some insane things in terms of sustainability throughout their footwear and products they've come together to kind of bring the best of both uh, to create this project and really achieve it by having such a low carbon footprint on the shoe if you haven't seen already from the overlay shots uh, the carbon footprint of the shoe is 2.94 kilograms it's written here on the midsole of the shoe uh, and that's include the shoe making the packaging the transportation as well as the end of life 
all calculated into that footprint. So something pretty incredible. To give you some kind of comparative point there, a normal shoe is really between like nine and 15 kilos uh, of carbon emissions per pair. So this really yeah, is a quite something. But just before I jump into the specific details of this, I found it quite fascinating that this entire project took place over 12 months, all digitally between both brand teams uh, to create this, so obviously lowering the carbon footprint just off that alone by not having to fly and meet and you know have physical meetups uh, where we require like transportation. As far as I understand from one interview I read, most of the meetings between teams were done via Zoom, which is pretty incredible to like actually create a physical product just like in a digital realm. But moving further into the details of the shoe, and I'm gonna start with the outsole over here. 82% of this outsole uses Adidas's proprietary Light Strike technology foam, which is the same material that they use in some of their pro running shoes. And then the remaining 18% of the foam in the midsole comes from Allbirds Sweet Foam, which is a sugarcane based midsole technology that they use in their shoes. And not only is that low carbon, it's also natural. And from a coloration point of view, on the midsole there, you've kind of got this very light sort of camo effect it's like the merging of the two different midsoles you're getting a bit of a camo effect there with grays and whites used there and then just underneath the shoe perhaps you'll see the coloration a little bit better there you've got the adidas performance logo which has been debossed in there and then a completely different kind of outsole that i haven't seen before and you also have these natural rubber overlays done in white only in the places where you specifically need it uh, for durability and traction on foot I think this is a percentage of natural rubber, not 100% natural rubber, but ultimately also contributing to the low carbon footprint of the shoe. Now moving into the upper of the shoe, as you'll see, things are quite flat here. It looks a little bit compressed and it doesn't have structure or things like that, but that's just how they come packaged in the box, but I will talk a little bit more about that later. But from a material perspective over here, this uses 70% recycled polyester. That's 20% more than you would get in Adidas Prime Blue. The remaining 30% of that is a material called tensile, which which is basically created from wood pulp. And from a structural point of view, as mentioned, you won't see much of a cage or anything like that because they've taken a completely minimalist approach to every single component on the shoe to keep those emissions down. So what you do have here is something which I think they've kind of called and don't quote me on this, but kind of the tailored fiber placement, which they developed through the poly range to really have these like embroidery stitches uh, in specific places where you need it most from a structural point of view. So what that basically gives us is some beautiful texture on the sides of the shoe towards the heel section of the shoe and right here in the toe box section, just along the outside there, just providing that little bit more structure to the book. The minimalist approach also continues into the laces provided with the shoe. These are an insanely, <laughs> thin pair of laces, just one set of white laces that are provided with the shoe. I mean, literally the aglets under here are like needles. It's like literally threading a needle through the eyelets there. From an eyelet perspective, these are just embroidered eyelets straight into this knit upper. So they really are saving on all componentry here on the shoe. The tongue itself just looks like a piece of foam that's been stamped out here, uh, kind of like on a die press actually. I can see some little like burn marks that maybe it's been like lasered or something like that, but stand to be corrected on that. Uh, and then just in the heel section of the interior of the shoe, uh, the padding here is kept completely minimum. So only where you need it most, um, but it is still very, very comfortable on foot. Uh, I have tried these on yet, but we'll show you some more uh, on foot shots there as well. And then one of my favorite features here has to be the insoles of the shoe. Now these are just kind of standard insoles. I don't think there's like, really too much going on maybe there's a different material i don't actually know to be honest uh, but really nice design on the outside of that but then one thing i found quite fascinating apart from the collab adidas and allbirds logos on the right insole they've also got this little table over here which shows all the versions which i'm assuming um, were created prior to the release version so v1 all the way to v5 and it's carbon footprint per pair there uh, it started at 5.97 kgs per pair went down to 511 then 467, 443, 438 on V5, and now 2.94. So pretty significant reduction there. I'm assuming this would be V6, um, but yeah, it only goes up to V5, and that was 4.38 kilograms. So quite an astonishing feat. Uh, that they were able to get that low on this particular pair. Now from a strobal point of view, this is kept completely minimal as well. You've just got some netting here basically, which is fused directly on that combination light strike and sweet foam midsole. Uh, so you are getting like, you know, a fair amount of support and comfort directly just straight on to the midsole from the top. And overall speaking, just on 2.94 kilograms of carbon emissions per pair, both brands still say that these will live up to the expectations or demands at least of their normal running shoes that they provide uh, because 
that would kind of defeat the whole purpose. Like if you're creating a sustainable low carbon emission uh, shoe, it would be completely pointless if they just fell apart and like didn't last and you needed to get another pair. So the point of this is like longevity as well as sustainability at the same time. Uh, and obviously jury's still out for that. We haven't like worn these for a lot and there's no like, you know, independent test that I've seen or anything like that of whether they will stand the test of time. Uh, but you know, my experience with Adidas product and innovative product has always been absolutely exceptional. Uh, I don't think they would ever put out something, uh, you know, that they haven't rigorously tested themselves. Now, last but not least, I do want to talk about the packaging over here. It's got collab branding on pretty much all sides of the box with Adidas and Allbirds. It's a fully recyclable box over here. Uh, one thing I did see with the prototype version of these probably around six months ago, I think they did have a conical shaped box. And the reason they went with that was so that they could fit more into the containers or shipping boxes on the containers on the ship to really, you know, reduce at every possible point of the process of manufacturing and getting these into the consumer's hands. I see the box that I've been provided with the release version over here uh, is just a rectangular box, but it is much smaller in size than that uh, prototype box that I saw. So I'm sure they've done the math there and figured out that this is uh, definitely favoring uh, the calculation for the lowest carbon footprint. Uh, inside of the box, absolutely nothing, no paper, no added extras or anything like that, which is what we would expect for a shoe with a common goal like this. But overall, a really, really exciting product between two competing brands, uh, which I just find absolutely fascinating that they're really like just, you know, like kind of sharing the technology that they've both, uh, you know, innovated and, and garnered for their own brands and put it together to really make a stand uh, for less impact on the environment and carbon emissions with their manufacturing of footwear. Now, if you do want to get yourself a pair of these, they will be releasing in limited quantities this coming Wednesday, the 15th of December for 2,499 Rand, uh, specifically at the Adidas Santon and Adidas Waterfront stores, if you want the in-store experience. Both of those stores are absolutely incredible, by the way. I've now visited both. And just shout out to Adidas South Africa, those stores are really, really sick. Uh, but also they will be available online as well, www.adidas.co.za. And lastly, before I forget, from a sizing perspective, I do have a true size a UK 9 over here and they fit me absolutely great. There's a little bit of space here in the toe section just to the left or to the right side of my foot, uh, depending on which shoe I'm wearing, but basically I mean on the lateral side, so the outside of the shoe. Uh, but nothing to be like too alarmed about or anything like that. So my recommendation if you are looking to get a pair of these would be to go with your true to size. But that's pretty much it for my review on the Futurecraft footprint by Allbirds and Adidas. I hope you guys have found this helpful, enjoyable. If you do have any further questions, please drop them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please do me the favor and hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe right here for more content reviews, early unboxings like this down the line. But that's all for today, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.